I guess first of all, it's really important to recognize that this landscape uh, was an important gathering place for several Native American tribes. Uh, the more recent history of this area involved uh, extensive agricultural development in the 50s and 60s. Um, and that development really uh, converted much of these spring and aquatic habitats uh, into very simple kind of water conveyances uh, so that they could be used to water crops. And as you can imagine, uh, in the process of converting those systems, they lost much of their value for the native fish and wildlife that are endemic here and live nowhere else in the world. It's really critical that we return these habitats to their original function. And so that's been a long-term mission and the primary uh, direction of management here at Ash Meadows. I would say it's challenging because this is such a unique area and so there aren't as many real life examples that we can lean on. And so as a result of that, we deal with a lot of trial and error that other refuges might not face. What occurs to me and what I, what I like to promote is that the cardinal sin of conservation is failing to learn from your mistakes. What we're really trying to focus on here at Ash Meadows is developing an adaptive management mindset where what we are doing is putting in place the science foundation for learning from our management actions. And it's a really critical component to getting better and better, learning more and more over time about these species, their environments, and how to restore them.